So we're hanging outside the JROTC room, which is on the first floor. You see a bunch of JROTC people behind us. Yep, they got a lot of supplies, ropes and stuff. Who knows what they're going to be doing today. Uh-oh, I'm scared. That doesn't sound good. I always see them, like, they tie these ropes up in between trees and stuff. And um, they just kind of, like, walk walk around them, so. Yeah, so um, something happened recently. Yes, they did. They went on this competition, and they ended up winning first place. Oh, fancy. So why don't we go talk to some of the JROTC uh, members, and we'll go figure out what it took to win first place and what exactly they won first place for. Go check it out. Hello, my name is Kyle Cote Johnson. I'm here today with two JROTC students. Let's talk about this drill competition. Aiden. How are you? Jenny. Hi. So tell me a little bit about this drill competition. Where was it held? Uh, this drill competition was held at Valley Forge Military Academy in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. And who did you compete against? Uh, we keep competed against a number of schools in our league. Most of the schools are in the city. Um, for people that know, like Overbrook High School, Martin Luther King High School, people like kind of in that area. So do you get a lot of participation from other schools? Typically, yeah. Um, sometimes uh, you can tell who's practiced and who hasn't, but it's usually a big turnout with these competitions. Tell me about how the practice and preparation for this is. Um, tip, well, our practices we have to hold in the morning before school because we can't use the gyms after school. So we come in at 6 a.m. and we run from 6 to 7. Uh, it's usually about, well, we get it here at like 6, but it will start at like 6, 10, just because we have to like get ourselves together, bring the rifles down to the gym and stuff like that. And then we'll run through, we'll practice. Um, like anything people aren't good with, like with the rifle movements and stuff, since they're like 8-pound rifles, some people have a little trouble like working with them. So we have to practice certain movements. And then once we get that down, like after a few, like a few weeks, once everyone's cool with the movements, we'll start working through the sequences that the leaders have to memorize. So that way people can get used to where they're, what they're going to have to do next so that they're not kind of lost when it comes to the competition. So 6 a.m. in the morning every day? Every, well, almost every day. Um, it kind of depends when it gets close to the competitions. It's every day. But uh, when it's kind of like a, almost like a grace period when we have a little bit of time to kind of relax, we usually have like two or three practices a week. So drill is a definitely a popular thing to get involved in JRTC, right? Definitely, definitely. Can you describe to me what exactly drill is? Uh, drill is short for drill and ceremony. Um, the main purpose, it, it's originated with the Army. Um, George Washington established it when he established the Continental Army. The purpose is mainly to um, build teamwork and discipline, or we'll teach discipline and build teamwork. Um, it just teaches everyone how to work together and how to uh, follow like a rigorous pattern. So it's, it was more important when we fought and we were like, if we marched in lines and just shot at each other, it was very basic type style of fighting. Nowadays, it's more of like something kind of for show, for presentation, for traditions and stuff like that. And obviously for, for the JRTC program, something to have them learn. Definitely more than just discipline. Yes. So at the competition, what, what would you say is the hardest part about it? Uh, the hardest part probably about the competition um, comes down to just not like psyching yourself out and not getting too stressed. Uh, there's also inspection is where uh, graders will come through and ask like individual, each individual questions. And um, it's some, some people get really stressed out about that. They just, they've never been used to having somebody so close to their face and having them ask them things so directly and they have to be very serious about it. That's probably the hardest thing, honestly. There are judges in it? Yes, there's usually one for each uh, four people like each squad, so there's three squads, or four squads, and then there's a judge for each one of those squads. How are points given, or how are you graded? How are um, graded? Well, there's a, with each event, there's a different score sheet for it. So for inspection, for example, you'll be graded on um, how loud you are, how clearly you enunciate, um, actually, like actually being able to know the questions. Um, if you don't know the questions, it doesn't kill you, but it does hurt you a little bit. But as long as you're uh, loud and you project your voice and show that you're comfortable with being there, you, you can still score pretty well. It basically shows how confident you are. Yeah, That's it. confidence is what they look at mainly, but the questions are definitely important too. So um, how was the competition overall, do you think? Overall, the, uh, the competition was pretty good. Um, uh, who, do you, who do you think were our hardest competitors? Our hardest competitors probably was South Philly, because last year they actually took first place in Pleasantville, which hurt us, because we took first place, I think, the year before that. That's your hardest competition? Yeah, right now. Because they're actually getting uh, sharper with their movements. They're watching each step as they take it. Would you say this is a hard hard thing to get into and involved in? Um, I think it kind of depends on if you enjoy it or not. If you enjoy it, it's a really fun. I personally enjoy it. Um, obviously, I, I'm in charge of it, so I would, it would be good if I enjoyed it. But 
Um, if you enjoy it, it's not hard to get into. It's really enjoyable. But if you're not into it, it's just it's not for you. Um, some people get bored really quick with it, but some people really enjoy it and stick with it. So what exactly happened at this competition? Um, like the well, like the order of events, or um, did you guys win anything? Or uh, yeah, we placed first overall, um, and in different categories, we were like spread out a little bit because it was by points. It was the overall. Um, some categories, like uh, the one I was in charge of, came in. I think it came in third, or, or like overall as of the groups. And the one she did, which was like a squad, was just like six people that came in second overall, with, with like among everybody. Um, but overall, we came in first, like I, you, for the whole event. Like so how do you them. feel about that win? It, it was good. I was a little surprised just because we had so many uh, younger people. Like the goal of this, um, pro, like not project competition was to kind of give them like the exposure to it. Cause, I mean, there was a few people like Siegel who will be interviewed as well. They've already gone to a couple of competitions, but there are people that were brand new to it that have never marched at a competition. They've only gone and watched. And I think it helped them a lot. Like it was a good exposure for them. Definitely. Anything else you'd like to share with us today? Um, no, nothing really. Um, I'm just proud of the team. Thank you. That'll be all for us today. Now back to the Eagle News.